The following podcast contains spoilers for the book chosen and may include spoilers for other books in the same series. The participants of this podcast have also been drinking a lot. The participants of this podcast are professionals and did not drive home until sober. Please, drink responsibly. I'm trying to read. All right. Oh, hello, and welcome to Blackout Book Club. Wow. Book Club, where you black out. I sang it. I sang it that time. Welcome. This is the podcast where we. Oh, we fuck. What we is it read. we do? We drink beers. We drink or we anything. read books. We drink more beers because we're we have a problem. And then we discuss that. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's a, it's a solution. You're a problem. It's a solution to reading. Who is this problem child that I'm speaking of? Jake. It is. Oh. Jake. It's Jake. Obviously. Jake said nothing this whole time. And Jake, Jake, wake up. Oh, I'm, Jake, I'm, Jake I'm, passed I'm, out. I'm Lot's Jake wife. passed out. <laughs> What's that called? I'm... He's I'm not, Lot's he's wife. That's they a reference out. to the book. There we uh, go. They'll get that in a second. They don't even know what book it is right now unless they look at the title. Well, if they saw the last one. we uploaded. I mean, they saw the last one. It's a book Regardless, They should have read it. Let's introduce ourselves first. It's kind of important. Okay. Yeah. Who do we have today? We got my buddy. I'm Jacob. I'm Ed Hardy. My buddy. No. My no. buddy, I'm Jacob. No, my buddy, I'm Jacob. My buddy, I'm Tom Hall. Tom Hall. Tom Hall, that's you. And me. Tom the Hall. really strong guy who's not really strong Bruce and Banner. just likes to put on the illusion of strength. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong, Tristan Walsh. Bruce Banner. <laughs> You're just going to say things. Just, like, <laughs> I was looking for strongmen. <laughs> I was looking for strongmen. That's all I could think of. <laughs> he was looking for strongmen. So yeah. he said, Bruce Banner and yeah. Stretch he, Armstrong. Not Hulk. <laughs> the the weak scientist. He is Hulk. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, if you watched the movie. Here, yeah. If you did, uh, here on Blackout Book Club, like I said, yeah. we read a book, we drink too many beers, we book, we then drink. we discuss the book. Speaking of and beers. because of, yep, Jacob led Ooh. right into it. Ooh. Because we're drinking the beers, yeah. the question always arises at the beginning, mm-hmm. even though we're only three deep. Hey guys, what you, what you drinking? Jake, you, are you want to start? start? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Start All right. Off, Jake. Well, yeah, because look. the book, we, can we say the book? Because we like, yeah, well, announced uh, it at the end of the yeah, last we, one. All well, right. what's the, Jacob, what's the book? The book, the book that's probably important to say first, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? It's a uh, the book is Lamb, the Gospel According to Biff, Christ's oh, Childhood wait, wait, Pal. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was an air horn by Cho- Christopher Moore, chosen by a very Christopher? own Tristan Walsh. Christopher, Christopher Moore, the, the person's yep. name, Tristan Moore, Tristan. and it was chosen by Christopher Walsh, our friend here. <laughs> he chose it. Thank you. I Dude. picked this book. I said it the last one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Christopher Moore book, uh, Lamb. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you drink when you're reading a book about Christ? Well, I know we're about to find out from Jake. Christ is known for one of his many miracles of turning water into wine. So I'm drinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking chocolate red wine. Yeah. He, <laughs> turned, he turned water into wine. So I'm drinking I'm chocolate sauce. Drinking chocolate? No. no, I'm drinking a glorified no, it's, it's red yeah, wine mi- like mixed glorified. with, yeah. it's red wine, but it's mixed with Dutch chocolate because I'm a child. Yeah, there you go. I have yet to actually like, have his taste yet, so let's see how it tastes. You don't like the icky, icky wine. Here taste. comes, here comes. It's a mystery. And it's... It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. It's not bad. Thanks. Not bad, everybody. Thanks. Throw Chocolate that down in your uh, booze review. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> well, so, which, also, which for alcohol is pretty good. Uh, right? Right? I mean, we don't I'm have also, a lot of options. I'm also drinking wine, obviously. Right. And mine is just called sweet white wine. But there's a picture of an apple <laughs> on the front. Sweet white wine. Yeah, it's wine. just called sweet white wine. And it's sweet and it's white and it's wine. Cool. So it's uh, it's been true. true it's been label. true. It has it is lived up mm-hmm. to the label. To all the hype. Right on, right what on. What about you? What about you, uh, Tristan? Tristan over here. I, because, mm-hmm. again, we're apparently on a wine kick this yes. episode. Uh, I picked Beringer Ooh, Cabaret Sauvignon. Behringer. Ooh, a nice cab soft. Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Oh. Uh, Tom became a sommelier. Is that from Napa? Whatever. Sommelier. Napa has great person. cab softs. Uh, it's a red you. wine because Jesus oh, obviously <laughs> made the red wine into yeah. more red wines. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Water and red wine. He was like, he was like, I take this red wine. Now I have a purple yeah. wine and a green wine and a, look at all the wines of the rainbow. Thank goodness. So that's what have I have. I'm just drinking it straight out of the bottle like some kind of goddamn Neanderthal. But Ooh. you know, whatever. The first GD dropped. GD on a Christ book. 
Um, well, so, we'll hear many more of those. The I'm, irony I'm already extremely is palpable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, all, I'm already extremely lost. <laughs> I, Good. I, I don't know what's keep going on. Keep drinking the wine. All right. You just and, keep mm. put that chocolate down your gusset. God, fuck. <laughs> down, Go, down put your it gusset. Your gusset. What's a gusset? What is a what gusset? Is a gusset? Uh, it's like it's like just burning chocolate. Yeah. A gusset is burning chocolate. Put, put burning that wine chocolate. down your burning chocolate. It's a very thick drink. <laughs> yeah. My chocolate uh, wine. Speaking of thick. Speaking of... Tell us a little Speaking about this book. Things. This book is pretty thick. This book. I'm going to go into the book, Tom. Is that okay? Are you? Do you want to talk about dicks or do you want to go into <laughs> Not yet. I want to save that. All right. So... <laughs> He wants to save the dick talk. Yeah. For the rest well, of the There's a point in the book. I'll Nailed get to it, it do, later. Do, before, before we start, do we want to talk about like our <laughs> background and knowledge about um, the Gospels? Yeah. Let's go into that Let a little bit. Let me start with mine. I don't know anything. Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your knowledge of I like that. Uh, yeah, Christianity yeah. and whatnot. Uh, I, I was raised yeah. in a Christian home. Mm. Uh, taught Christian it. beliefs, then I became my own man, decided to make my own decisions, mm-hmm. and then still decided to believe in Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I good like times. That. Good times. I like that. So <laughs> I, I am very studied and learned in the Bible. So, yeah. so, so we because have, we I'm have like, Jacob McDuffie, very learned in the ways of uh of the Bible of Christianity. Mm-hmm. We have Tom, who knows knows a little bit. You know a little bit. Next to nothing. You Next saw the newest Noah, Noah movie. A, uh, he saw Noah. Oh, I saw he Noah. Went to the and, and I saw Noah. Passion of the Christ. Yeah, and he saw Passion. I saw Da Vinci Code. There you go. There's, there's like that's like eighty yeah, percent. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I've pretty most much read the Bible. And then I myself, uh, I have never been well versed, but everything that I do know about the Bible and all, of, uh, all the, uh, you know, yeah, the stories behind mm-hmm. it all, I learned from fables, tales, uh, yarns. No, I learned it from. Uh, shit, what was the video game? The indie video game I played. Binding, Binding of Isaac. Isaac. Mm. Binding I of thought Isaac. you were gonna say Veggie Tales. No. Oh, no, I, 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 I listen to this. There you go. Top of the yeah. Manatee. There he is. Yeah. All right. I listened to Lazy, uh, the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brian no. Carey did it. Binding of Isaac is where I learned anything <laughs> I love their, I I love their about. Redux. All right. We're getting a little off topic. All right. <laughs> so it, it's important to know because Lamb, the gospel, according to Biff, Christ's childhood pal, mm-hmm. is the story of Jesus from the young ages of about five yep. to... Yeah. Right up to where he's crucified. Yeah, all the because missing that's not, years. That's not Jacob as as. That's not a spoiler. It's a two thousand year old story. Yeah, two thousand year old story. But that's not that's not covered in the Bible. From yeah. five to thirty, almost none of that's covered. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's a lot of like in, plays in This is a yeah. fiction book. This is fictional. This is obviously, meant to be humorous. Not a real and it a is real humorous. prophet yeah. of any way. But it's a it's a comedy book. It's an absurdist humor book. Yeah. Um, Absurdist humor. humor. How cultured way to describe it. Absurdist humor is a, it's a certain type. Uh, Absurdist fiction, I guess, is yeah. a certain type of. It's like a literature that is you, absurd. You know, it, it, it no, well, like it, yeah, but it, it, <laughs> nailed it. I think the definition is something like the experiences of uh, characters where they don't know where the purpose of life is, or something like that. I yeah. can Wikipedia it, but fuck that. No, yeah, Wiki. it's it's something like that. Jim. Okay, that. that's fine. It's close um, enough. Whatever. It's more than I do. So yeah. So the story is basically the story of Jesus from those ages, but told from the perspective of his childhood friend Biff Levi, Biff. Who, Levi, is called Levi. Biff. who is who is called, called Biff because Levi is actually a person from the Bible. Yeah. So, oh, I, I didn't know that. Yes, know he's that. barely mentioned. He's very, he's very small. A, which they, which they make note of a little bit, but we, we can get into that. That's later. cool. That's cool. So, um, so we'll just run through the book a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, run through it. The the major, the major overarching major arc. So, yes. book opens up. Tom nods his head and like then this. touches Jacob inappropriately. Well, it's not inappropriate <laughs> if it's okay. No, there it's it inappropriate. Is. Uh, so the book opens up. Mm-hmm. You're introduced to Biff. Biff is brought back to life. Uh, and he is told to write by, his version of what happened. Was it those Raziel? years by Raziel, Raziel the angel? Is yes. his name Raziel? He, he is resurrected in the 21st century. Mm-hmm. Uh, current so modern write, times to write his version of the gospel. To write his version no, of the gospel. Who's Raziel? Is that real? Is that well, in the Bible? Like, no, he's no, no. He's, actually, uh, that was created. I know this. Book. Raziel is an angel that Christopher Moore used in another book that he wrote. Whoa, oh, crossover. Oh, oh um, man. Uh, it's like a nun book, the Island of Misfit Nuns, or something like that. That's pretty he uses cool. Raziel yeah. in that book. Okay. Uh, because, like I said, he's oh. kind of a comedy writer. It's and called he likes to use the it. stupidest angel. There you go. So Bumbling he uses Raziel on that. He yeah. likes to reuse characters, which he also reuses. Who will come to this? Uh, the demon catch. 
No. Yeah, that is from Practical Demon Keeping. Whoa. His other book. So, uh, I got questions, Biff comes back to life. It, yeah. Well, we can get the questions in a second. Yeah. Let's run through what happens. Basic summary. Yeah. Biff comes back to life. Is told by Razel that he has to write the story of what happened. His mm-hmm. his, his version. Yeah. His story. So he goes in. We are then brought into his story. And it's kind of like a divided timeline because you're thrown in the past of what happened with him and Joshua, who is Christ. Mm-hmm. Yep. And also a little bit of the beginning of chapters is spent in the present day with Biff living out his life here in a hotel writing the story. Right. Like, hanging out with an angel who just wants to watch Spider-Man on TV all day. Yes. And scripted dramas. So what happens in the Joshua area of the story is as young boys, he... He meets Josh, uh, bringing mm-hmm. lizards back to life. Yeah. Uh, and they become best friends. That's the main thing. He's Christ's childhood pal, Biff. Who was uh, it in the book that would smush the lizards and then he would bring back? It was his, his brother. His little his, brother. His little brother. What's his name? Ah, shit. Job? I'm just pulling names out of him. No, that's from Arrested Development. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's Job. Isn't Job from the Bible too? Uh, it is. It is. Uh, it's not John. It's, it's definitely Jane though. Dude, tell me, tell me, Job is from the Bible. Tell no, me right Job's now. from the Old oh, Testament. Yeah, for score. sure. Score, nice. His little brother, Tom one. I'll, 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 Bible I'll, one. You go ahead. Yeah. Tie in. So he, not even important. Tom, no, I'm glad right. you brought that up though. I'm glad I brought that up. Uh, <laughs> I'll continue to bring up more. So what stuff. happens is, I think it was James that was his brother. Okay. So he meets that him. That sounds right. They're best friends. Then they live. They start to grow up. Uh, what happens is, you know, it's basically just explains. You know, he's Christ. He's the GD son of God. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it just, you know, talks about their young boy adventures. They meet Mary of Magdalene. Yes. Oh, Mary. Uh, which becomes a, a big, important factor of yeah. this book. Very important character. Uh, she is, and I believe the way that Biff summed it up was like, there was nothing sweeter or more heartbreaking than a childhood romance or something like that. Something yeah. like that. Little boy love. Yeah, little boy love. He, because he had fallen in love with Mary, yeah. yes. who is a who is a biblical figure. Uh, she's mentioned a few times, I believe. In yes, the, there's, Mary Magdalene. There's stuff, yeah, Mary Magdalene. There's like four, the there's code. like there's like four, <laughs> there's like four Marys <laughs> yeah, in the gospel. Yeah, I think three or four there's a lot of marys oh wow but yeah mary magdalene is was uh, very close to right. joshua in his gospel so uh taking liberty upon himself christopher moore says that biff and josh met her at a very young age mm-hmm. they both developed a crush on her but josh being you know the son of god couldn't do anything on to act on it yeah meanwhile biff being a mere mortal a human and kind of a douchebag a little bit uh <laughs> he's just like Yo, she's really hot. I'm going to marry her and whatever and bang her. Basically, it boils down to that. It's a little bit more poetic, but not really. Biff is kind of, you know, blunt. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, some, he's nothing but a man. He's nothing but a man. He's nothing but a man. He's the best friend of Christ. Oh, yeah. He's nothing but a man. He's nothing but a man. Could be our tagline. Like the podcast. He's nothing but a man. Nothing but a man. Yeah, nothing but a man. <laughs> All right. So they begin to grow older. They have to take up a trade at 13, which is back in the day that was required. Uh, so. They both become stone cutters mm-hmm. under the guise of Biff's father, I believe. Because Josh is like, I feel like I sh- I'm supposed to save humanity, and Biff's right. like, enough of that nonsense. Yeah. Rocks, I tell yeah, you. We yeah. have to, yeah. That, and I, I really like that line. Yeah. That, that's a good example Rocks of humor. Yeah. Uh, because Christ goes, oh, I feel like I got to save humanity. And Biff goes, no, the future's in rocks. What do we got around here? Rocks. Okay. You see any trees? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, trees? Because he's going to be a carpenter. Because his dad's a carpenter. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, what is it? Joseph? Joseph. Joseph yeah. 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 Joseph is a carpenter and he's supposed to go into his father's trade. And he's like, there's no trees around here, Josh. <laughs> you got to get into yeah. rocks. The rock business. Yeah. <laughs> Big deal. It's up, it's at. So they be, uh, then they, then they, uh, Biff's dad, who is a stonemason, uh, they become, trains them. What, what apprentice. Is, what is apprentice. They become apprentices. Mm-hmm. For him, uh, events unfold. There is a statue that is being built that shows off the human figure, uh, which isn't okay. Uh, which in, is not okay in it's Judaism, blasphemous in Judaism. So, because they see this big old, you know, the Romans are crazy dudes. Phallic. There's a lot of Romans. Yeah. You know, back then they're under Roman rule. Under at this Roman time. rule. 
Because of all the Roman rule, they're like, yeah, dude, dicks are sweet. Yeah. And the, yeah. Judaism, the rules of Judaism are like, no, dude, don't, don't look at dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put don't that look away. Dicks. Don't so be they showing decide the human to, uh, take, they're like, what about boobs? And they're like, right, boobs aren't like, okay. No either. boobs, no Nothing. dicks, no vajayjays, none of that. Yeah. No butts. It's basically no fun. No fun. <laughs> <That's> what <laughs> <laughs> so what they decide to do is deface the statue. Okay. Cut, it, cut off the ding dong. Uh, yes. A lot of happenstance happens, yeah. and they're caught. The uh, perpetrator of catching them is murdered mm-hmm. yes. by a radical, you know, believer in Judaism. And they're like, "Oh no!" Turns out to be Mary Magdalene's uncle. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, and that it's important because it weighs heavily on Josh's mind pretty much throughout the rest of the story. Uh, I think it's brought up once or two more times. Throughout, I mean, we're with him from 5 to 30 or so. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's a big deal. Yeah. So he knows a man who murdered another man, and he's being the son of God is like, oh, don't do that. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm whoa, not okay with this. no. I'm not okay with this here. It's like Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I'm not okay oh, with hey, oh, no. Hey. No respect for the, no respect <laughs> no for the Romans. For the radical. What is this? <laughs> uh, a, couple of, a couple of years you know, pass at that point. Whoa, Mary, you're skipping Mary, over well, stuff. Well, Mary, Mary Magdalene becomes well, engaged th- to someone that they don't like. He's oh, a dick. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Dick. Dick. Dick Face. Dick Face. Jockin. It's Jockin. Jakin. We both yeah. said Dick yeah. Face. It's, it's, it's Jenkin. I think. Jenkins. It, it's J-A-K-A-N. Yeah. Well, when did I Rodney Dangerfield Jenkin. die? A while ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I he, believe it's Jenkin. He, uh, after, after the whole event, um, <laughs> yeah, basically boiling down a lot of a lot of big events happen. Josh brings someone back to life. People freak because, out. Yeah, because they take Josh's father as uh, they think he might have killed the yeah. Roman. They, yeah. they believe and, and Josh was but like kind of. But that doesn't encroach on the rest of the story, though. I know, yeah. but I'm just saying. That's but, that but that's why Josh yeah. like brought back the yeah. soldier to life. To Josh save brings the soldier dad. back to life because the Roman to, was like to free the innocence of Joseph. His, yeah, his uh, dad. Mary Mary of Magdalene. Uh, becomes engaged to Jenkins, yeah. who they do not like at all. He's a dick. He's a dick. Yeah. He's the son of a high right priest the in the Judaism. Yeah, he's, he's either a, a Sadducee or a um, yeah. I can't can't recall. <laughs> I had half this bottle of wine so far. So yeah, uh, my knowledge is uh, slipping by the second of <sighs> for five dollar wine. Of all, Killing of, it. of all of of all of the shit. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but basically, what comes to be known is. Being that he's about to get into his teenage years, um, Joshua, he becomes a little worried about what he's going to do with his life. You know, who knows? He he's like, I'm definitely the son of God. I'm yeah. definitely supposed to save because, people. Because how do I do that? What do I do with that? Because Raziel comes back again. Yep. The to angel. to announce we mentioned to, him, right yeah, yeah. Okay. to to announce. To the that, birth of Joshua. Yes. Ten years after. Yeah. Like yeah, twelve he got, he years. Got caught up playing cards or something. Yeah. yeah I he never missed it. He, he showed he up it by and, a bit. Yeah. So he shows up to Joshua and Biff, <laughs> and he's just like, "Oh shit, I'm late." And it's just like, well, it was just like, oh, guys, I fucked up." Were either you, whoops. Were either you born in Bethlehem? Biff, yeah. like fucking, he was. He just like yeah. ran, Josh raises his hand. He's yeah, like, I was. He's like, oh, all right, cool. If you see some shepherds. Tell him to like spread the word that the kingdom is here or some shit. And they're like, yeah, you're a little late. Deuces. Uh, <laughs> so because of <laughs> deuces. And he just like fly away, yeah. throwing his hands up. So what they decide to do is find the prophets. F- find, find, find the, the three, three wise men, men who came to his birth. Who came to his birth. Because uh, they should know some shit. Right, something. They and knew he was there. Josh doesn't know jack shit. His dad ain't telling him nothing when he prays all the time. And Biff is kind of dumb. He's kind of dense. He's an yeah. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they go and find the wise men, uh, and then a lot happens. Obviously, you know, between that section. Yeah. Uh, I want to get most of this podcast down to discussion of yeah. the book. Okay. Uh, it's not super pertinent. So yada yada yeah. yada. He hangs out. Find... Yeah, he hangs out the first wise men. Yeah. He's a magi. Like Balthazar. Balthazar. Is a Balthazar is very. He, he teaches has... him Taoism. Yeah. yeah. He believes in Taoism. Uh, he lets Biff fuck his concubines. He, does, he doesn't, he doesn't let, him. let him, but it happens. It happens. They, there's a demon. There's 
Yeah. It's nothing he, super pertinent. He, even though Biff's not like, you know, uh, Joshua learns a lot, but also yeah. Biff learns something different. Biff, Biff learns like different skills. He learns Biff, what, like making uh, uh, he learns Biff stuff, is right? he learns sketchy alchemy. friend. Yeah, he learns yeah. alchemy. Which he's, is cool. he's super helpful yeah. to have he's around. Not, it's good to have around because, and this is like a question I'm going to bring up later, um, but it's like, according to the story, obviously, because yes. we don't know that this is true yes. in any way. Well, but it's like, would Josh have survived as long as he did without Biff? Right? Yeah. A lot of or things. Or made it as far. Or, yeah. mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that would have gone different, obviously. Right. Uh, so they hang out with Balthazar. He teaches them wisdom. They hang out there for a long There's time. There's a they demon. Learn skills. Separate skills. Yeah. Obviously. But they learn a lot. Then they go meet the second wise man. Melchior? No, that's the third one. Oh, it's Kaz, Kaz, uh, Gaspar? Gaspar. Gaspar. Gaspar, Gaspar is, is the second, second one. Yes. He's in India. Um, oh, he's a Buddhist, right? He's a, he's Buddhist, a Buddhist monk. Yeah. He, teaches, he teaches Buddhism. Uh, they, and Kung Fu. Yeah, and Kung Fu. Yeah. That's where they Biff learn karate. The hand they hand they learn goddamn karate. Because, well, uh, Joshua doesn't, right? He, he doesn't he believe learned, in contact, he learned, like, he learned conflict. He learned judo. Yeah. yeah, they learn judo. Using your enemies Get it? Play you. on words. <laughs> yeah. For the play oh, on words. Someone doesn't know their martial like, arts. I listen to... <laughs> I listen... A lot of this I listen to on audiobook while I was at mm-hmm. work. And it's just like... The guy The guy said it. I remember that point and I have it written down. The guy goes... And he learned judo. <laughs> like he super emphasized it to make sure that I understood the dumb joke. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got oh, it. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> I just got it. Yeah, but that judo. <laughs> yeah, but oh, so Jake, they, found it. Thank so you. he learns. He learns a lot about Buddhism. Yeah. Uh, they meet. <laughs> they meet a yeti, which is yeah. a <laughs> super what is his name. Just yeti. Yeti. There's no oh. name, I don't think. There's, but there's but then Josh yeti. spends a bunch of time hanging Josh out with the yeti. Josh spends a lot of time with him. And he learns, learns something. Yeah, from he, the le- yeti. he learns. He learns more about the human condition and what it means to care. I don't remember what it and was. Hate. I didn't learn. Well, he he liked hanging out with the Yeti because the, he the Yeti was also the the only one the of only time. one uh, just and like there Josh was no was. one like Josh. Yeah. yeah. So it was nice to hang out with someone who also had that disconnect from the rest of the uh-huh. world. Yeah, 100%. So that happens and then they go meet the third Melchior uh, sage. Melchior, yeah. The Hindu yogi. Melchior. Who, after a weird run in with a bunch of uh people from India. Yeah, doing a bunch of like uh sacrifice doing bullshit. Sacrifices. Oh, that was in between there. Oh okay. Yeah, that was a weird just kind of diversion, I thought. Yeah, and Josh got to use his or not Josh, uh, Biff got to use his alchemy, which yeah. again yeah. is another instance of what would it, what would uh, Josh have done without Yeah. Without him, you know? He's a, yeah. Quite but a diversion. I, just, I just thought that was that was a weird cuz there wasn't really a segment of story between them meeting Balthazar. Yeah. And meeting the second sage. Well, they use it to draw parables to. No, I know to, why to, to, to draw like, parallels why like Christianity things and stuff. happened. Yeah. yeah, but like there wasn't like the way the story was told. It was like he got to this wise man, then he got to this wise man, and then they had an adventure, and then they got to this wise man. I yeah, thought, the other ones were kind of eventful weird. getting just to as a them. yeah as a writing standpoint. I thought yeah. it was weird. So then they meet the third. The third wise man, which is uh, Melchior. Melchior, the Melchior. Hindu yogi, yeah. <sighs> who is the Sorry, brother of Bert. Gaspar in the yeah, book? Right? Both, is yes. that also how oh, it yes. is? Yeah. Which I, is that a thing in the Bible? I don't know if that was written in any way. What uh, Melchior they, the and Gaspar? Wise men you don't know who the wise men are, right? So oh, okay. in the Bible, he could take liberties. Oh, okay. These yeah. are all everything which, up ah. until Lamb. The part five, <laughs> yeah. all liberties. None right. of that yeah. is written in the Bible. Which until uh, what's it called? The, which he learns one of his most important things: the multiplying of food from this. Yeah, B- the, B- the B- manipulation B- of matter. Yeah. Look because apparently what? Jesus <laughs> is Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Another gosh. great book, Watchmen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just another dropped. another time, maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? So, oh, and Biff learns uh, the Kama Sutra. Another oh, skill, yeah. Yeah. The important <laughs> skill, which he had to pay wow. for to learn that yeah. skill. Which you just go to Josh and be like, multiply his food, and then he goes sell it, and they learn sex stuff. Yeah. That was like That's three Biff. years for him. <laughs> That's Biff. I know. He spent like three years with Ogier, and he's just like, "What are you doing, Josh?" He's like, "Oh, I'm learning all." I got into this pot. You know, yeah. I don't I can, know how to get into a pot. I, can, I, I squeezed into your bag. I can squeeze <laughs> yeah. my body and I can get in this pot. And Biff's like, dude, I'm fucking this hooker down in the town. <laughs> and I bought an elephant. 
Oh yeah, he had an elephant. And it's like it? a bunch of shit. Yeah. He's just like, dude, I'm fucking rolling and shit right now. What they, are both you doing? Lived, they both lived in little caves, but like he decorated his cave with like expensive blankets and yeah. stuff. And like fucking soak, and he owns an elephant that lives on like the beach. Yeah. Yeah. And Josh is like, oh, I can get into a pot and I can turn invisible and all this stuff. Oh yeah. What well, where did you learn that from? The second he, the sage. When the he when sage. he attained enlightenment, Ooh, sorry. he yeah. turned invisible because he, he became one invisible. with everything because he's the son of God. Yeah. And he can do that a lot yeah, faster than normal special. people. Yeah. So uh they hang out with Melchior. They learn what they need to learn. They decide it's time to go back home. Mm-hmm. They go back home, and then this is the part of the book where he starts to gain his profits, uh, to gain his entourage, his you know, his, like his apostles, his apostles, yeah. his, his followers. Yeah, it, it's it was weird because in the beginning of the book, you know, you see like Bartholomew, or you see like one or two, and then towards the end of the book, they start slamming him like, and then yeah, there was they're four, like, then there was bam, five, Matthew, then there was six, bam, bam. because well, that's how it happened in the that's gospel. That, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, guess if it's, it's over those the, years, it had to. It's, it's it over the there, course yeah. of like three or four years. Oh, yeah. definitely. That, that the gospel takes place. So. I mean, it's oh, all the, the real gospel. The real gospel takes place over like three or four okay. years. Oh, you're talking about the book. Which is the same as the part five. Right, right? At the, yeah. yeah, at the book. Yeah. Which Sorry. we are now so that, paralleling. Yeah, so we're now, now at this point, after he goes to meet the three wise men. Fuck. Good catch. He goes to meet the three wise men. Now is where it starts to draw parables to yeah. the actual story. They are now returning and they're like 30. Okay. Yeah. 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 They were turning to Jerusalem, not Jerusalem. I'm sorry. So he become he his begins returns to Israel. Israel. His father had just passed his away. His father passed Joseph away, right. died. which they just died and because James, of uh, sickness. And James was pissed. Was pissed. Because mm-hmm. he's like, I'm yeah. taking care of the family, uh-huh. and Where mom still thinks you're the coolest. I believe I would be upset if my yeah. older brother was the son of God. You're like, how the fuck and, am I gonna live I, up? Yeah. What am I gonna do? And my mom's always talking about him, like, man, he's the son of God. Mary, every fucking second of every day is like, I gave birth to the son of God. And you're just like, come on, man! I'm, I'm fucking raising these crops and shit. Come on, yeah. what are you fucking? I'm doing, doing something. Yeah, it's just like say you're I'm taking son. care of dad over here, and she's just like, son of God. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like a bird woman. Ah! I don't know. I'm sorry, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I'm okay. So they come back. They meet their families. That's nice. They ask around. Oh yeah, and Biff offers to be their stepfather. Yeah, because yeah. Biff had a crush. On, <laughs> on Mary, the Virgin oh, Mary. Mary. Well, they, yeah, she ain't a virgin no more. Well, yeah, yeah. At this point, she's popped out four kids. Which can we just go over the fact that uh, his youngest sister ended up at the Isle of Lesbos? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which listening to the audiobook was just like super funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, especially because Biff's mother brings it up. She's like, you could end up like that. That young. Joshua's younger sister. Yeah. She went to that Isle of Lesbos. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a place. <laughs> Didn't they even say something like she started wearing those god awful sandals or yeah, something like that? Like, like, some kind of like man cut her hair yeah. short. Yeah, yeah. and then, and then she went to the Isle of Lesbos. I'm like, oh, that's where lesbian comes from. It's just an island. <laughs> I think that's a real thing in Greece, actually. I am from, 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 yeah, from ancient times. That sounds like a sick ass. <laughs> I mean, they, you would have no part in it. No, oh, no, but I, I'd like to watch the yeah. island. He'd drive by. I just like to look at the There's island. a day cruise you can yeah. do. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like you get one day off on your like excursion from your Caribbean cruise yeah. on the island of yeah. Lesbos. It's worth it. I mean, they're not scissoring in the streets. No, on the, the beach. Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, that's true. You don't know that. Let me Google lesbian island and maybe... <laughs> Maybe they are. Oh, Jesus, Tom. We you got some that. really weird results right there. Yeah. Speaking of Jesus. Yeah. Speaking Nailed of it. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Tom. So now at this part in the story, they begin to uh, acquire apostles. Well, Josh goes to hang out with his cousin, John the Baptist. Right. To learn yeah. how to how to preach. How to preach because Cause he didn't he, learn how to do that. He out has with not monks. been in a, a ton of human contact. Yeah, uh, no. these last few years. He spent a lot of time in Not monasteries and or Buddhist temples. Studying or meditating yeah. is what he did for like uh, 20 years. So he talks to John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. And he learns how to garner people to his cause. To recruit and Just how convince. to talk in front of a crowd. Yeah, just uh, public speaking. <laughs> yeah. He hangs out with John the Baptist to, to learn how to public speak. Uh, then he, he starts... The next few chapters are just like, hey, gaining apostles, gaining apostles, yeah. these people, you know, you get a bunch. Gotta catch them and all. Also, also uh, Biff meets up with Mary was, again. Yep, yep. I was yep. about to say. Oh, okay. And then the the romance of Mary Magdalene returns for yeah. returns. Who 
We did not say this earlier. Oh shit! Right we skipped over a big left. thing yeah. right before they left. Uh, she wanted to meet up with Josh, like and Josh was like, left. "No, yeah, can't no do that." Can do. And it's like, "Why, Wall?" And <laughs> Josh is like, "Dude, just go for me. Just mm. it'll be dark. She won't know. Don't shit. say anything. <laughs> it's gonna be, be coach. Fun. Yeah." And, and what coach, happened? Coach, it was thirteen. Yeah, right. You like that? Uh, I said that purpose. Thirteen-year-olds fucked. Uh, <laughs> like in chapter like eight, thirteen-year-olds bang. Biff and Maggie Way to go. had yeah. sex like a couple times, I think. Yeah, it yeah. was like three times throughout the night. Which then, seems weird reading in a twenty-first century yeah. mindset. But Did, back then, you should be married within like a year. Yeah. So you it, it wasn't. Be. It wasn't that weird back then. Mm -hmm. You're you're married at like twelve. I guess it was weird because typically wasn't it like what, like a thirteen year old girl was getting married to like like a forty year old guy? No, no, no. They were wasn't only, like weird age they, differences they would back like then too. Two years apart. It would only oh. be like no. He Tom's saying that like old dudes would marry young ladies. I don't think not not in like Israel. Jake, I, I was no there. I know. Oh yeah. Okay. A pilgrims would. Pilgrims, pilgrims. Would do that shit. Those freaky pilgrims. turkeys yeah. and stuff. Ugh. Turkeys. But yeah. So that happened. So that happened. And, and she Which found is and she found out that it was Biff. She, she knew it was like, Biff. She yeah, was like, she, knew. Whatever. she didn't say anything. She was like, whatever, can't fuck Christ. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. So she, <laughs> yeah, all yeah. of us, 100%. So they meet up with Mary Magdalene again now uh, when they're about, it's not, they're not 30 yet. They're about tw late 20s. Late 20s. A few okay. years before. Yeah. They meet up with Mary again. Well, Biff goes to see her while Josh is in the desert. Hang on. Hang on. When she was getting me. married to Jenkins. Well, that's this is before that, but are we just well, when when she was when she was married, yeah. Yeah, getting no, getting married to Jenkins. Yeah. Back in the day. Okay. She was enthralled to him. Yeah. Uh betrothed. Yeah, betrothed. That's what got them out Neither of, of them wanted to go to that wedding. That's what got no, them out that's of why they, they loved they were they liked Mary. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they bailed and started their journey when they did. So now she's been married for a multitude of years. Yes. And Biff shows up and he's like, what's up? I like that you're like clutching the mic all the time. I like hold it over here because my foot. <laughs> you're holding foot it like rock on. star style. Yeah. Like rock. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was a, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all friends. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I was like, well, I got to have my foot up over here. Tristan hurt himself. So, so. I hurt myself. Rum, rum, rum. Uh, unimportant to the story, but I, I hurt myself. <laughs> so my foot's propped up and like, I have to lean over to the mic if I don't have it over here. So it was okay. just a pain in the ass for the first 25 minutes of the podcast. Okay. So <laughs> what happens is Biff meets Mary. Yep. Uh, again, loves her. Remembers why he loved her and basically wants to bang her again. Yeah. Can we be honest here? Like, we're adults. He like hears her voice and so he like climbs over the wall. Yeah, he's like, like, oh, I gotta fuck her. <laughs> and then some blind. Sandalwood. Yeah, some blind. I know. <laughs> she always smelled like sandalwood. Sandalwood and some other bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some other. Mary Magdalene. Oh, she was so lovely. She smelled of sandalwood and some other bullshit. <laughs> How good, can a, how good can a wood smell? Well, sandal, it's, it's it like, flowers it or wood? It smells like Birkenstocks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not like a type of wood. I forget what it is. That was like Crocs. Who gives a shit? We're there getting off topic. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you even bring it up, Jake? I'm sorry. So, they be, uh, they, their relationship with Mary, again, blossoms. She leaves her husband by pretending that she's possessed. Which makes sense to Which, me. that's the only way I got, yeah, 100%. That's sane. They uh they recruit her as an apostle as well as thirteen others, twelve in total apostles. Twelve in total. All right, so eleven others. Yeah. Um, basically at this point in the story, it's just Jesus trying to get the word out of what he believes in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. or or the divine spark. the divine spark which he learned from which the John third, renamed as the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. which they learned from the third apo uh, the third wise man Gaspar. Yeah, Gaspar. And they were like, well, nobody's going to understand the divine spark. They'll understand a Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. So cool. they rename it. So John the Baptist came up with that, right? He like trademarked yeah. it. Yeah, he trademarked it. He was the, he was the this... copyright house and he was yeah. like, yo, motherfucker. <laughs> TM. Beep, beep, yeah. Little, 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 tiny little C with a circle around yeah. it. That means you own it now, Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Quick, real second. Mm-hmm. You said 13 apostles. I'm like, no, nah, it's 12. And then I'm like, shit, is it 12 or 13? 
The reason I thought 13 might have been it is because I was thinking of Dogma. <laughs> and Chris Rock is the 13th apostle. That is true. That's where I, I was thinking seen of that in a while. That's, That's a true. great movie. Yeah, Chris Rock, unfortunately, mm. does not make an does appearance, not make an appearance oh, in Lamb. Gosh. Why did we even read it? <laughs> I know. I know. But thankfully, um, Ben Affleck does. Yeah. Ben so Affleck's that's great. Movie. Fantastic. <laughs> Affleck's in here. Anyway, yeah. at this point in the story, they just it just tells the story of trying to gain followers, spread yeah. the word, what they do, and then it leads up to the crucifixion. Yeah. Yes. Of Christ, which they, and this is a big this is a big thing. So Christ is crucified. Yep. Right. And Biff is just. He he, he he wants to because up to this point in the story he died he's just crucified up to this story uh, up to this point in the story I'm sorry Biff has done nothing but like look out for Joshua in every way he could yeah in like very sneaky and like backhanded ways yeah so he's doing everything he can because Josh knows that he has to be sacrificed even though like, to for, come back for like proof for like days he's like all right guys. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm die. I'm gonna die. He says but it. Josh I goes, can, I'm gonna be dead. But I'm gonna come back. I can do it. Don't worry. I can pull it off. And all Biff is saying, he's like, I don't want my best friend to die. Yeah. Even though he should be the one who he, has the most faith in him. Because he's been with him for 30 fucking yeah. years now. And he's the whole time he's saying, yeah, like, I'm gonna rise. It's yeah, he's like, come back. He's, but, like, but he's, he's like, like, it's gonna suck. Like, but I'm gonna come back. But he's like, you've never been that good at resurrections, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Biff's like, uh, dude. Mm. He's done a couple. They got, Remember they that got zombie better. came back and that was weird. You fucked that one up. They got <laughs> I mean, better. You did. You did Simon Lazarus pretty okay. Yeah. <laughs> but like that was like last week. <laughs> that was like the best one you've done. Like and you was, just got onto it. I'm and he not was okay still kind of fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He smelled bad. So be like, what the affliction? Smelled, yeah, he I don't smelled, know. Like, dude, it was in decay. Still wasn't perfect. <laughs> So Biff tries to do everything in his power, knowing his, you know, poisoning tricks, alchemy, his smooth talking, his black market esque traits. He tries yeah. to utilize those to save Joshua. And what eventually happens is because we know the Bible, he is crucified. He cannot save him. But a big turn, and this is the end of the story, is that uh is told that Biff goes and kills Judas for selling out Joshua. Who, if you don't know, Judas is the one who sold out yeah, Joshua. Yeah. Judas, to... is, Judas is one of the apostles. Yes. That sold, uh, and he's the one who sold out the Son of Christ. Yeah. yeah. And this whole the whole time up to this... The Pharisees. Yeah. That's the word I was yeah. talking about. Freaking Fuck. Pharisees. The, the whole time... Sadducees up, are above that. Up to yeah. this point in the story, yeah. Biff had never been the murderous, dangerous type, yeah. I wouldn't say... No, he, yeah. he hadn't killed anyone. No. And he, out of cold blood and sheer hatred, went and murdered Judas, which I don't know, Jacob, you can elaborate, but like in the Bible, is Judas spoken about at any point after the crucifixion of Jesus? It's speculated that he killed himself. Oh, so that, and that's cool. Yeah. Wait, because it's a work one? Out, out Judas? Of, yeah, Judas killed himself out of sorrow for what he'd done. Yeah. Like he did it. He's or like, right. I fucked up. Yeah. So that's cool. So that means that this could, in the Which quote in, unquote events of the story, it's plausible. Yeah, plausible. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yes. And, it, and it's fitting being with his best friend of 30 plus years almost. Yeah. You know? Uh, Biff would like lose his shit at this point, especially because yeah. he was stricken really hard watching his friend nailed up to the cross yeah. Yeah, and bleeding out and whatever. So he dies. Yeah, Christ dies. Yeah, and then the st- and then Biff kills Judas. Yes, and then the story's over. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, until the epilogue. No, no, no. Biff kills Judas. And then Biff jumps off a fucking cliff. Oh, right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay, and kills and himself. Biff kill, and kills himself jumps off a cliff. Because of the guilt. Because because he's just destroyed. Yeah. He's like, my best friend is dead. I've got nothing. I murdered a man, which I feel like he jumped off the cliff because he was so like torn up that he had done the ultimate sin. I believe they said it once or twice. The ultimate sin is... That like, murder was uh, you know, like the big deal. In, you know? I think in Judaism it is, but in Christianity... It's right, not. but they were Jews. Right. What's the, what's the big deal in Christianity? Uh, it is it's a blasphemy big no-no. of blasphemy. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Oh, huh. of the uh, of the Spartans. It's just, it's, it's, it's just it, it's denial of Jesus. 
uh, as the savior, basically. Mm. That's the that's the only unforgivable sin. Yeah. So even uh, if you later accept it, well, if you accept it, then it's no longer oh. a factor. Oh. that's all like criminals in, in in jails and stuff like turn to religion. <laughs> I family. murdered a guy. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, no, it's okay. It's but cool. I see my way. If they do it for real, yeah. Yeah. It's so all ba- good with it. Not- <laughs> back the story. Sorry. So, <laughs> so Apple- Biff is dead, <laughs> and then that's the end of the gospel. And that's the end of the gospel. We get back to Biff in modern times. Yeah, with yes. Raziel. Raziel goes, you're done? And cool. he's like, yeah, totes. Uh, <laughs> um, so he's led outside to where there's another angel and a woman who smells of sandalwood and bullshit. And oh! she- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gosh dang Mary Magdalene yeah. and then they walk off into the yeah. sunset Who's, with Biff going with Biff going oh you're just gonna hang out with me and you still love Josh and she's like yeah totally and she's like that's gosh dang pathetic and then they walk off into the sunset she, yeah well who's what angel brought her back she was brought back also they to didn't write say a, who, who a, her uh, angel was to write they? a gospel yeah, they, as well. they didn't name her gospel uh, her angel, her, her angel she was keeper. also brought back to write her version of the story. Right. But she had not seen Josh yeah. and Biff for 20 odd yeah, years. She, yeah, she was like, I finished mine weeks ago. Yeah. He's like, yeah. what? He's like, well, I mean, I, I didn't just, have a lot to write. I skipped over like yeah. 15 years. Yeah. It was like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like from ages like 9 to 13. And yeah. then. And you know. didn't she say something like, "Man, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done that." Like he came back. A oh yeah, days he, later. he's like, he's we like, were kind oh, of yeah. bummed he killed Biff yourself. Killed himself. Yeah. And she's like, "Shouldn't have killed yourself." <laughs> he came, Josh came back, and he's just like, All right, "I learned it from the Which, Bible, but like, wow." If I learned anything from that Robin Williams movie, isn't like killing your spouse self supposed to be one of the worst sins too? <laughs> that's that's in Catholicism. Oh uh, my god! I am not Catholic. That's the Egyptians. Oh, that's <laughs> not the Egyptians. <laughs> Catholic. Oh, uh, Catholic. oh, Tom. Oh, oh you God. So the story ends Super sad and abrupt And then has like An uh, yeah, epilogue It got real real, real sad and traumatic When he kills Judas And then leaps off And on the audiobook version That I heard There was a long pause For about 30 seconds And I was just like <laughs> Pause for I was just effect. living In that like moment Like Holy shit Yeah <laughs> And then it's like And then it came back And Mary was there And everybody walks <laughs> off They bought jeans <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> so that's what happened. So that's that. So. All right, Jake, you got a whole, like, freaking paper full of stuff you want to talk now, about. Now, well, we're okay. going to get into discussion now. All right. Because uh, there's a lot that happened. Uh, Jacob, again, let's reiterate this. Uh, I only know a little bit about it based on, like, Binding of Isaac and just looking up on Wikipedia. Right. Tom doesn't know a lot about Christianity and the rules, and Jacob has been raised in it. Yes. He knows a lot. Which means I will be browbeaten on mm. both sides. Yes. I am. Because the non-Christian listeners will be like, you're a fucking idiot for believing in a, <laughs> in a sky hippie. <laughs> sky and, hippie. And, and yeah. the Christian listeners will be like, how dare you use swear words? <laughs> and, and talk the way you do when you believe in Jesus. See, and, I'm, and I'm like, hey, I'm just being a guy. I was, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was ordained online. So does that put me ahead of Jake? Like in like religion, am I above him in that Ordained aspect? in what way? Uh, I don't know. I just clicked yes a couple I times. Don't know. <laughs> like I didn't even have to pay anything. It was free. <laughs> I can print off a witch doctor certificate for five dollars. I, I, I don't know. If you don't know, then the answer is it's no. It's like the yeah, holy it's online I monastery. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me drink some I like chocolate that. wine. Yeah, I am halfway through my red wine, which hopefully Jesus will definitely duplicate. Oh no! Oh. Oh. That happened to me too. Ching! Uh, it didn't. He turned water into wine. Ow! You just banged your tooth. Yep, didn't you? right against the tooth. Way to go, cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like a okay. bitch. So, so discussion overall. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited to hear this. Overall, mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it quite a bit. Well, let's yeah. say, let, let, yeah, let's give our like quick opinions on the yeah. book real quick. Um, because I picked it, obviously. Right. And I picked it because I really like Christopher Moore as a as a author. A writer and author. I like his stories. I like the way they go. But this one, everything he only writes fiction, obviously. Yeah. Uh and like I said at the beginning of the podcast, he's like an absurdist bullshitter. But <laughs> this one was more steeped in realism and had like things. 
that could like coincide with it, right? Yes. The other stories that I've uh, read by him have been featuring, Just, you know, fictional characters yeah. in San Francisco or something like that, but they're not like, you know, he doesn't use a bunch of like this had a historically current events. Yeah, like this, this is a outline to to of historical yeah, reference. Yeah, to compare to. Yeah. You know, and I read, uh, I read one or two documentaries or like exposés on like what it was he did before he wrote this book and what he, what went into it for like research reasons and like writing and stuff. And he did a lot and he did a lot. And it's 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 clear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's there's a lot of parts even from like the small knowledge that I ha- uh I have on the on the subjects. Like I know he he did something. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely put words yeah. on paper. Yeah, he definitely didn't just go like what would it be really funny if, if, if Christ had a best friend named Biff? I bet they'd do a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah. You know, they, he references actual apostles and actual events. Yeah. You know, for the for the most part. And I don't know if they're all 100% accurate. I mean, there, accurate. there are even a lot of very small things. That, yeah. That he uses only, nuances. nuances. That shit that probably Lots, flew right Lots, over too. your guys' head that I'm like... That was cool. Uh, like I knew the story of Samson. He referenced that. Yep, I knew that one. He there was um, the story when of, uh, the demon. Uh, what was his catch. name? Catch. Catch. When he shows up and starts killing people. A catch was during the first wise man. The first wise man. Uh, catch yeah. is causing a ruckus, and right. uh, then Josh shows up, and he asks the demon what his name is, and the demon's like, "Fuck you!" And then he <laughs> grabs his tail, and he's like, "Nope." What's your name? And then he tells them his name. That is common demonology, uh, where uh, you it is important to name the the so demon you know, or the unknown force. So you know how to when target you, it when you when you name the opposing force yeah. or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It takes power from it because it's no longer the mystery. Uh, that is from the Exorcist as well. <laughs> and Exorcist, I was all going to say, which is used in a lot yeah. of... Yeah. Exorcism, Emily Rose, yeah. the same I, I thing. Also wanna tell up, me your name. I also yeah. want to yeah. bring that's, up... That's why uh, they do it all the time in movies. That, you that, fucking st- yeah. stole like the punch. All right. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't God, mean to fuck up. Let's I do did. this all night. But Jake I, doesn't get a punchline yeah. all night. Nothing for you, Take Billy. It, Jake. Uh, I wanted to bring up that uh, Catch is also from another one of Christopher Moore's novels, yeah, Practical yeah, yeah. Demon Keeping. Right. Uh, he likes to reuse characters. He's written, I believe, 15 or 16 novels at this point. Wow. Since the 90s. he It's about like once every... How two, old is this book? Uh, Lamb, I believe, came out in the early 2000s. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. I'll, I'll look it up. Oh, and, I got it right here. Uh, uh, there you Lamb go. came out in 2002. Yep, 2002. Jeez. So, uh, he, he, uh, Christopher Moore writes about a novel every two or three years. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He, for writing he a, a he book? Does, he takes about a year of... A year, year and a half for research, and then which is does, important. And then just writes. Yeah, he's yeah. done fourteen books. Yep. So most recent one, two thousand fourteen. So just, just is that one the Fool of Venice? The uh, Serpent of Venice. The yeah. Serpent of Venice. I'm sorry, the Fool is a different book he wrote, I believe. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree. Is there one that's labeled the Fool or uh, something about comedy? Yes. Yeah, just Fool. Oh, right. two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm sorry. I got this mixed up. Yeah, yeah, that's why I picked him. I like him. Yeah, I've read like seven of his books, so I had a couple more to get through. Yeah, I read. I read his. Uh, originally, it was the death one. The first one was the practical demon keeping in ninety two. Yeah, I didn't read that one. Oh. I just know of the reference. The first one I read was like a guy to death. Uh, uh, blood sucking. No, I read. All, I I read all those now. Blood lizard, coyote blue. No. Oh, the oldest one other than that is Lamb. No, I'm not saying old. Fool, Serpent, Sacre Bleu. Sacre Bleu! Sacre Bleu! Ah! French! <laughs> Jake fell asleep. Sorry, sorry, I was looking up yeah. something. Jake was book. looking up things. Yeah. What, what's his other books they did? It's none of those. Oh, he did Practical Demon Keeping, Coyote Blue, no. Blood Sucking Fiends, A Love Story, Island of the Sequence, Love None, The Lust Lizard of Melancholy Cove, For Lamb, Fluke, yes. or I Know Why the Winged Whale Fluke, I read. Sings. Fluke is awesome. Stupidest Angel. Yes. A dirty Job. Yes, that was it. A dirty, dirty job. job. A dirty job is about death. 
Mike Rowe. Okay, that makes that sounds right. I'm sorry. I just really want to know which. That was the first book I read. <laughs> that's okay. His. They gave me a second to look up the. Yeah, the, uh, that was the first book I read of his, and, and that's why I picked this one. I like it, it. Broke the book up into several parts. Yeah, and my that favorite. Was, that was awesome. I liked part six, and I always had a passion. quote. Yeah, passion. The quote was, "Nobody's perfect." Well, there was this one guy, but we killed him. Oh, yeah. I thought that was hilarious. So that was great. I, like, so I love that. that. Part five was like, Jesus was a good guy. He didn't need the shit. He didn't yeah, need the shit. shit. And which is a thing they went into a lot. Like, yeah. just using the word fuck. Like, yeah. we didn't have the word fuckhead. Oh, or yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. At around page 60, I think it was. Uh, Biff finally explained why he was writing this in English. Right, I'm right. Going, I really like that. I'm sitting there going, why the fuck is he writing this in? Like, why does it matter that he's writing it in English now? And yeah. he's just like, because there's, it's a plethora of language. I can yeah. use different words for all kinds of yeah. stuff. Like, fuck stick. Yeah. And he's, they started going on this, like, tangent of fuck stick. Yeah. And it was hilarious. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting like, there, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. good, you explained this, because that is a glaring issue. Uh, yeah. Because he wouldn't have known English. No. Well, they gave Obviously. him the and they, but they gave him the power, the of gift tongues. of tongues. Yeah, the yeah. gift of tongues, which was the uh, thing that happened to the right. apostles after Jesus. But he was using modern ascended. English. Yeah, exactly. To write it, so it was important. And but Christopher Moore explained it, and I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. I like that he went to that depth. Yeah. So let's. We're, at this point, we're just going to discuss some shit. Yeah. You know, we're going to bring up some things. We're, gonna we're bring talk up about some things. Shit. Jay's got two fucking pages worth. Well, no, okay. Half half of this is just log lines of each chapter. Oh, reference. things that happened. I have that happened. I have two dog-eared pages. Oh, uh, okay, cool. I have, thing, I have a few things I just want to okay. talk about. Uh, well, the first thing, just real quick, is um, yeah. Well, can in, we can we all said we liked it, right? Yeah. yeah. I just I just want to like emphasize. Yeah. This was a good check, read. Yeah. Check this plus. Good read. As far as, I, read. As, far as I'm I was, concerned, yeah. Christopher Moore writes wonderful books. Yeah, I was a little worried because of Jacob's like background. Well, in here's the thing. But I thought that A, it would bring up good talking points there, there's, for there's, the book. B, I had not read this one, so I wanted to read a new one. And C, like, I really yeah. like this author, so that's why. Yeah. Which I can understand why you'd be like, oh, uh, Christian reading this fiction right. comedy book about his religion. Yeah. It's like. I'm not one of those Christians no, who I know get that. pissed off when, I know like, that. like the new Noah movie that came out. We talked yeah. about a little bit earlier. Uh, I know some people that saw that movie and hated it because it was like truthful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it totally, well, what do you mean like, truthful? Like, about well, some dead on to the old gospel? It wasn't the Sunday school version oh, of, yeah. of it Noah. It wasn't Sunshine and Rainbows. No. Of Noah. Motherfuckers got killed. Yeah. Shit was brutal <laughs> yeah. in, in the old times. Yeah. Not Everyone died. Movie. Innocent and everything, you know? Oh, okay, there's yeah. evil in everybody. Yeah. But, yeah, okay. But, I mean, I like that and I like this story despite yeah. it. You know, taking a lot of liberties. Well, I'm glad which, too, because obviously this is my pick. Yeah, and I've uh, this is author. I've read four or five books of his at this point. And I wanted you guys to like it. Yeah. I think That's I awesome. think Russell Crowe would have been a good yeah. uh, Biff's dad. Biff. But, <laughs> I think Biff's dad. No, Biff's dad. Yeah, uh, uh, stone worker. Biff's dad. I think it would have been a good Biff's dad. <laughs> but <laughs> but in in the afterward, yeah, there, there was a part where he says, "Oh, um, which I don't know what what portion is the afterward. The afterwards, af it's it's the." Uh, it's just the author saying how he researched the book. Uh, oh, I didn't read that. I, and I didn't hear that because I did the audio portion. Oh, I read it. And there's a, he's just saying, it's just like, it's tough writing for a story that's the Bible <laughs> and the gospel of Jesus. Yeah. And like researching it is like, how much detail should I add? Yeah. Like, am I writing this for non- like right. believers or believers. Yeah. Like he wasn't sure. Because he had to, to research do. the Pharisee, Pharisees and all like the hierarchy yeah. of the religion. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and he said like the problem, the problem arises, however, that if the reader knows the Bible well enough to recognize the real references, there's a good chance that he or she has decided to not read this book. Well, that shows you, Christopher Moore, because <laughs> yeah. I read the book and I enjoyed it. How about that? Yeah, take yeah. that, idiot. I yeah. liked your book, yeah. dummy. Yeah. Cool. Fucking take that. Showed I him. enjoyed it. Showed him. <laughs> so let's discuss it some, uh, that, some more in depth. Yeah, right. that was something I really enjoyed was the... He goes into a lot of... There are a lot of references. A lot of like, accurate... Yeah. Stuff. And and he talks about um, even just Jesus' name. He's like, I'm... Right. He bring, when he brings up and he calls him Joshua at the beginning... He does, he does a whole half a paragraph in parentheses. Why he's called Joshua. He's like, why that's his name. Jesus yeah. is Greek for Yeshua, yep. which Yeshua is, is, is the actual is, yeah, like, for Arabic name. And so, I was like, 
I appreciate that. Yeah. Like, and yeah. Even not coming from... And I'm sitting here going, you know, why are Bibles doing this? <laughs> yeah. Giving us this historical reference point like this? Yeah. That makes sense. So I, yeah. So I really appreciate that. And it, like, it's just, it's a lot of extra work that he didn't have to do. Yeah. He didn't have to, but he did. And that's why I like Christopher Moore as a author. And yeah. That's why I wanted this is my first book I picked Which, as someone who didn't read a lot about religion and whatnot when he put does that extra stuff it adds that much more like legitimacy to it same here yeah because I, 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 I like know to see about that religion in uh, all I know about Christianity I know again from just like some Wikipedia articles going to Sunday school maybe yeah. three times with friends as a youngster yeah and like as a wee lad yeah and, yeah so the small yeah. little boy yeah. who why did I do that accent? That's I don't what was that? that? Was That's not how you sorry. Knee high. Knee high to I wish a grasshopper. I could take that back. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> take it back. You can't. But like I don't know a lot, but I pre like as someone who doesn't have a a, a hundred percent understanding of it, I go, Wow, he must have really worked on this. And Jacob is just like coming over here and going, Yeah, he definitely worked on this. Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah. 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 yeah, way to go! Yeah, so that's awesome. Jacob's my frame of reference for life. <laughs> Jacob is Samson a real thing in the Bible? And Jacob's like, yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay, good, yeah, good job, Christopher. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Go, Chris. I'm sorry that you sound like a retard. That's how I talk. Speaking of you, in typical day to day, do not mean interactions. Mm. That's how I speak. Mm. Yes, <laughs> it is how you speak. This is my smart you voice. Fucking plebeian. Plebeian. Now the plebeios. What are you fucking 4chan now? You say plebeian? Oh, is that a God. thing? That's something they say on a uh, co, I think. Jackie oh, Chan. Right. Uh, I haven't read co in like two years. Yeah, me neither. I'm sorry, I became an adult. Maybe three Let's years. Let's talk about our books some more. All right. I like. Do you have a? Tell me, do you have a favorite character in the book? Ooh, I'd like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. tell me about it. Was there something Jake. that you? Oh, you go first. If we're gonna talk about characters, I thought Josh was portrayed quite well as a child. Yeah. I thought he did a good job portraying the Christ figure as a kid. Yeah. yeah. The thing about that was like, all right, he's Jesus, yeah. right? But he's a kid. But he is also yeah. a kid. Yeah. yeah. And he's he still didn't an adolescent. Have, you know, in the Bible, there's not a, a God, tangible human figure who's like, this is how you should even, act. Even, even his relationship to God right. seemed more... It made it, it seemed more plausible. And I, and I agree a, with that too. He, he only just I, gets yeah. like the same these, point. these vague feelings about how he should right. proceed. And he would yeah. come back. He would pray a lot. Yeah. And then he would come back and be like, "I don't really know what I took from that. It's confusing." Yeah. And I'm like, that, "Yeah." <laughs> that made him more human. Exactly. As a as a because character. he was a man. Right. Yeah. He was a man. He was born of woman to become a man. <laughs> Definition of man, born of woman. See that in the dictionary. Right, here, I come. In. here I Smoke come, it. motherfuckers, with my words and my definition. All right. Uh, welcome to Blackout Book Club with Jacob McDuffie, Tom Hall, and Webster's Dictionary. Yeah. Born of woman. Born anyway, of woman. Webster, continue. So, <laughs> so like, I, I also yeah. enjoyed that, though. He was, he, he seemed like what would have been, he hit the character well. Yeah, he just he got the character. Granted, good. there's not a lot to go on for kids. He kind of had to just make yeah. it up, basically. Right. But he still. But I mean, he gave him in attributes. In one of the gospels, there's like a chapter that goes into when he's like 12 year old and he debates the Pharisees when they go to Passover, which happens yeah. in the book. Yeah. That's the one that thing, thing in the first three quarters of yeah. the book that actually parallels the gospel. That's cool. And that's it. Everything else you just have to make up. So Jacob, I'm so he took from that and was able to extrapolate it into a full fledged character. So I'm yeah. gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you this. Uh, do you think he did? Christopher Moore did a really good job of like really boiling down the Bible and what was already written and using it to fuel his characters in this story. Yeah. All right, awesome. Boom. Yeah, yeah, there's your answer. Yeah, I, think I hope you did. didn't want more than one word. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. No, I. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> well, like just as he as he was a kid, right? Yeah. Um, like he was a kid, but he still had like this. Wait, passion. he was a kid <laughs> when when Joshua. The, the Jesus guy. <laughs> Tommy is laughing to himself like, I said a funny thing. Got him. Like, kind of, sort of, not Roasted. Really. Boom. Uh, when, when he was a kid, he was a kid, but he also had the sense 
of uh, passion. Like he read the Torah yeah. fourteen times. Yeah. He read. He could yeah, and quote it. Was stated, it he read back. the shit out of the Torah. He so, knew all the 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 sayings and the in the backwards and forwards, yeah. all the stuff. Yeah, and that, which is brought up a few times because Biff will say a thing. Dalmatians and, nine four. Yeah, <laughs> serpents. And like, six, and just like that's not in the thing. It's and yeah, and basically Biff's rebuttal is fuck you. <laughs> totally <laughs> was you. You gotta reread the Torah. Yeah, and Josh is like because Josh believes in every man. Yeah, he's like I like that he would go. You're right, I should read it. <laughs> yeah. I should read it more. There's, there's one where he did that. He's like, Josh, for it is written, give man a fish and he eats for a day, but teach him to fish and he's friends for a week. He's like, what? He's like, amphibians 5'7". He's like, there's no freaking amphibians. Plague of frogs, boom. I'm like, oh, gosh, darn yeah, it. There was a lot of, I like the, the comparison between, you know, the son of God. <laughs> And yeah. his friend who's just a dude. Yeah. yeah. It's quite you a know? dynamic relationship. Yeah. Like. It's like, and there, was a lo- there was a large portion of the book was, Biff would fuck a lot of ladies. Let's be, yeah. we're adults here. We can say yeah. yeah. Biff would fuck the shit out of ladies. And then. He did all right. Josh would go he like, did. Josh would go like. <laughs> From Jake, he did yeah, all right. He did he all did. right. <laughs> Josh would say, what is it like? Because he didn't. You know, it was a sin. He knew it was a sin. He couldn't he do it. He wouldn't partake in it. Yeah. But he needed to know what it was, what yeah. it was like, so he could write about it, so yeah. he could speak about it. And then <laughs> Biff's always like, "Man, I really like fucking." Yeah. <laughs> he had to know about all the debauchery. No. And, and like, Christ had to just know. There's about one it. point where he was banging literally a prostitute. He was gonna blow it up from a prostitute yeah, in, a tr- in, in like in, in like yeah. a stall and while Christ while is while sitting d- on the other end yeah. of a wall just listening. Josh like, is like, what's describe the it. Job, like? Describe what's, it. What's, what's happening? What's she doing? What's happening? And he's just like, he's like, she's sucking my dick. What are you? Doing? <laughs> I don't know. We gotta get another one. I'll, I'll really <laughs> well, describe yeah, it. They spent all their money on They spent all their money on a prostitute. It, it it made sense why he was so curious about like sex, but he's like he's like it's a sin, but. It's supposed to, but it feels good. Everyone like, likes it. Exactly. And Why like, is the thing that everyone I'm likes? I'm listening to it, and it's hilarious. At the same time, I'm going, this makes sense because he's supposed to know all of the pains and why these things that he is forbidding. Yeah. He, he needs to know why they're bad and why he's doing that because he's the son of God. And then at the same time, Biff's like, I love getting my dick wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Christ is just like... But it's bad, and then Biff's just like sitting there with a heart on, like, no, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great, best. it's the best. Try it. He's like, I really wish you could just fuck a chick. Yeah. And then Joshua was like, Me too. Uh, I wish I could yeah. too. Yeah. He's like, Man, I'd really like to give it to Maggie, real hard. Yeah. But he can't. Did they even like kiss or anything at any point? In the yeah, book? Ma- Maggie kissed her once, and Maggie he, he... Maggie kissed Josh at one point. Yeah, yeah. when they reunited at her yep. sister's wedding, and he was just like, and he got real confused. He got real like, embarrassed. Yeah. He's like, "What do I do?" Because at this point, Josh would be twenty six, seven. Yeah, he's been hanging out with like John the Baptist for a little yeah. bit at this point. And, and he got, and he gets kissed by the girl that he was in love with as a small child. Yeah, and he's just like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that was, first time he drinks really heavily too, right? Yeah, that's when he does water to wine and gets and drunk. he loves he, he loves water rabbits. To wine and he got really drunk. Was it because he kissed Mary, or was it because he felt guilty because of something? I don't recall. I don't remember. Um, There's a reason he got really, really, really drunk. All I know is that's how we learned how rabbits are associated with Easter. Yeah, he really liked rabbits. He yeah. loved rabbits. Uh, that was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, At that point, he was like, I really like bunnies. I want bunnies to be associated with me. Which also, thanks to his visit with the Buddhist, we also learn why Jews eat Chinese food yeah. on Christmas. Oh, yeah. We that also learned that oh, on his birthday. And a thing that in the little, the little afterward that you couldn't read... There was right. a part about how um, Buddhist monks didn't get into that area until right. like 500 AD. So that doesn't historically make any sense. Huh? Christopher Moore just did it because he thought it'd be funny if Jesus knew Kung Fu. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's basically what he said. If he knew Judo. So, so, so you're saying that Christopher Moore wrote that because he really liked the pun on Judo. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> wow. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Well, I think oh. he, he worded it like, I wanted to answer the age-all question. 
What if Jesus knew Kung Fu? <laughs> That's not an age old question at yeah. all. I've wondered that many times. <laughs> Tom's like sitting up, he's like in cold sweats awake. Yeah. Like, God, what, what if, if he knew? Jesus. Yeah. Go, go, I chop. <laughs> what if he was an MMA fighter? What if he black belt? Would it be different? <laughs> Would it be different? Would it be different? Wow. But anyway, I like. I think one of my favorite characters was Bartholomew, who was introduced very oh, early the on. The cynical. Or yeah. The cynic. The, the cynic. Yeah. Who was a Ro- like. A Roman cynic. Who everyone thought right. was like Roman? the town. Greek. Greek, Greek. Yeah. Greek cynic, right. Because he was going to be the town idiot. And Biff was going to be the town idiot. Yeah. What's his nuts from the Greek god? Yeah. 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 And he, he was like, everything's relative. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty <'Cause> much. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Except in a more retarded voice. Because in, in the beginning. He was. Yeah. He was "Quote unquote slow." Yeah. So it's like, fuck it. Because <laughs> in the beginning he was just like, "I don't need anything. I'm just gonna play in dirt and play with my dogs." Yeah. And they thought he was dumb. And then after a couple of years, they realized like, I lo- "Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. he had the Cause, right idea. Like, you don't need um, anything." Because Biff had that conversation with yeah. him. He's just like, "Yeah." But he's just like, "Oh, actually, I'm pretty smart." Yeah. I'm just like hanging out. I'm just and trying this out. Like, what? What? <laughs> you want to be an apostle? <laughs> yeah. Here's here's my question though. <laughs> Bartholomew was, he was an adult when he spoke to Biff at that point, right? They so didn't say Biff how old been, he was, yeah. but he's probably like 20 years older than that. Yeah, so Biff is probably 13, taking his trade, and he's talking to Bartholomew, the village idiot, quote let's, unquote. Let's say late 20s. Yeah, and so he's definitely got to be in his like 20s, or like at least. And then like 15, 20 years later, they come back and there's like, hey, you want to be one of our... Prophet of Pastor. hang out with us? And he's just like an old ass, <laughs> dumpy, quote unquote, retarded man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who hangs out with dogs? He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'll take <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I wanna. Again, I just say on the audiobook that I listened to for most of this story, uh, he was spoken. <laughs> Bartholomew's voice was like, the guy would always go into a voice and he'd be like, I really <laughs> like dogs. <laughs> Oh, Did he change his voice yeah. when he like started to like talk more intelligently? Yeah, or? yeah, I a little bit. He was like, and then the 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 reason that uh, and I forgot the philosopher that he used from the yeah the yeah room thing. He's like the reason he said that is because of this. Also, dogs can lick their own balls. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, yes, yes, good. I'm glad I, I picked just, this story. I just love right, like in the beginning, it talks about like, oh yeah, he's got dogs running around him, and then in the end, they're like his rallied troops. Yeah. I remember one part was my favorite. One of my favorite parts in the book is when they get to uh, Maggie's wedding, and then. Uh, they're like, oh yeah, we gave our camels to the camel parking boys. <laughs> like, there oh. are no boys. Yeah. You just got your oh, camels stolen. Yeah, and it's like, like Bartholomew stands up and rallies his troops. Tiny valets. Yeah. So oh, he's like, yeah. he like, he stands up, rallies his troops, says, we'll go get them. Yeah. So he just runs like, off with his dogs to go and, capture and the these camel time, I'm imagining he has like seven poodles. Yeah. And he's just like, no, he's like come I on, imagine, guys. I, I imagine terriers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, come on, guys, let's go find these camels. Little Scotties. But yeah, I like that. For their doofy little feces. <laughs> um, so, so we all like we both said um. That was weird. What? We both said um simultaneously. Oh, I'm sorry. I loved it. I didn't it. mean to. I we loved it. So we drank this whole bottle of wine on us. I like yeah. how Biff, you know, obviously loved Josh, but also used his powers for his own good. A hundred percent. Like one part I especially loved because was a uh, man because he was yeah. flawed. Yeah. 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 He was well, also a dick. Oh, yeah. I love he's kind of a dick. When they first get to India, yeah. and he's just trying to be a beggar. He's trying to beg, and there's all the other beggars. Yeah, like the blind like, kids and stuff. Like, if you don't, like, get in with the guild, yeah. we're going to fucking break your legs. <laughs> yeah. And, like, who's going to give him money when there's, like, a blind, crippled kid next to him? Right. So then he brings Jesus into town. He's like, heal this kid. And he's healed, and he's like, fuck, now I have nothing to, like, beg for. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's right. I think they even use the words, the little fuckers. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> like, in the book here, yeah. And, and, so, and, so did, yeah and so did Joshua go into town and seal, heal all the sick and wounded. Yeah. <laughs> the little fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's I awesome. That. It was so funny. Also, Josh had a super yeah. big, like, Affliction for coffee. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that would be the only semi drug yeah. that he's ever come in contact with. Right. You know. Yeah. And I love that. And he but, was the one who invented putting milk and sugar yeah. right into coffee. Oh, yeah. And Biff's just like, man, if you fucking squirt some gulp. Yeah. Squeeze this in here. It's I so don't good. Know why his accent got weird. Hey, fire, fire. Fire. So I'm in New York now. What yeah. is this? He's like, you throw some gold milk in this motherfucker. I see you, I am. Oh, Jamaican. What am I we doing? apologize, New Yorkers. We don't know accents. 
Oi, what Oi. are you doing over there, Chris? <laughs> you pig fucker. I'll biff your best friend. I'm just going to try and stay quiet. <laughs> Jacob's just sitting there judging That never me. works. It's sad. That Can I bring up a question? Yeah. Sure. All right. No. So this, <laughs> Go ahead. That'll work for this answer. Uh, this is the thing I thought of. So, like... All right, fix your uh, mic and pop filter. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, oh, there it like, is. Uh, you're, it's still front. It's all right, tell me. No, that's the side. No, this is the front. It says front on the front. How come the, the microphone? You're facing me, and this the is side back. is facing me. This is back. <laughs> Just turn the mic stand itself. All right, no, fine, do that. Your question. Nailed it. What is your question? And you move over right. the mic. Get in front of the mic. I'm in front there of the mic. There you go. You move over here. No, because I have to read the thing. Oh, okay. Because I, I wrote squirt, down squirt. my notes. I'm sorry that there's a pop filter in front of the way in a microphone. Tell me your notes. Uh, Rockstar. Knocked it over. Flipped over the microphone. Whoops. Too much wine. Drank all the wine. Well, while uh, Tristan fixes that, uh, I have a quick point. All right. Tristan's got to throw up real quick. I thought... <laughs> That's a lot of wine. <laughs> I thought it was cool yeah. how the story was written from the point of view of the comic of the comic relief character. I'm sorry. Oh, from Biff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was, he's clearly like the comic relief character. Yeah. And yet the story is written from his point of view. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I like that. Well, because yeah. like comic relief, usually you don't want too much of in I, like big bursts. Yeah. But yeah. in this in this story, he primarily it, it was from his point yeah. of view. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah. Well, whose whose perspective was the, like the Bible written from, or is it each book is written by that person's perspective? Each there's book a, is, they, I mean, yeah, there's different problems. They're they're written in like a third person, like yeah. non no one's perspective kind yeah. of thing. But I mean, like, but I mean, it's like there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, 100%. and John. Uh, I want to bring names for the person who wrote it. What I want to bring up uh, before I drank more wine and then rubbed my nipples and then got a little sick. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does for sound, but <laughs> it's so. That's it, not our job. It matters a lot. That's not us. But yeah, it just found it. Oh, that's gonna be great for the audience. I had a whole bottle of wine. A whole hey, bottle. Hey, there's still wine. some hey, in hey. there. If you were to chug okay. it right now, Tristan, I take that back. Tristan. Is he gonna finish it? Oh, he's gonna leave a little in there. He's gonna leave a little in there? Tristan, you finished it already. Yes. There in it is. the context of this specific story, you're probably right. Because the story was written to where Biff had this prevalent role. Yeah. Because if these things hadn't transpired in this specific way, Biff would have been useless and pointless. Okay. So, yes, I agree in this specific story where Biff is useful. If he wasn't there, yeah. he would. Josh probably well, would have gotten his ass it's not, it's not like I was trying to like force you guys to like think the same way that I thought. I just wanted you to, you know, like, but I just wanted your like, opinion. It's, it's just, because like at that point, at that point of the story, I went, well, Biff wasn't there, dude, Josh would be fucked as shit. I thought yeah. that, you know, without the whole bottle of wine that I just drank. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I just want your opinion. But. Do, oh yeah, other than the uh, rabbit uh. scene, what other, what were some more spots where like, because Josh was obviously very uh, dude. I'm sorry, my foot hurts. <laughs> Joshua was very divine throughout, and but certain yes. parts, like when he got drunk and loved rabbits, that was very human. One thing. time, yeah. yeah, one time. There had to have been more human moments. What, what were some again? Like some human moments. Yeah, he had, he had some human moments. He got drunk and loved rabbits. I mean, when he was a kid. Oh, is this like a hypothetical? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, like in the no, book, when, what were well, some more? Well, like there were, had to have been more. They were I mean, kids. Yeah. They were kids, and they were playing Moses. Yeah, yeah and he's and, like, no, I'm gonna he be. He always it. had to be yeah. Moses. Yeah, he's like, I'm Moses. I'm the good guy. Fuck you, Biff. Yeah. Yeah. Was basically. No, you don't get to be Moses. And, Biff, and, Biff, and, Biff, and Biff's younger brother would be shitty. And he's like, no, you're yeah, Lot's wife. I love that. You're I Lot's wife. Yeah. Like pillars of salt can't no, talk. No, you're the little brother. Psych a dick. Yeah. You're yeah. the girls. You're not allowed to talk. <laughs> well, well, you're not Lot, talk. well, okay. Lot's wife is from the story of um shit. What was it? Sandlot. I'm drunk. So Sandlot. it's hard for me to remember. You and me both. No crying in baseball. Um, That's why this is the Blackout Book Club. Because Jacob was, drank almost an entire bottle of chocolate wine. Rah, and I rah, definitely rah, drank a whole bottle of red wine. It's when... Uh, After more beers. Rah. And Tom had... 2013. Summer Spall. Smash the it, bottle. It's, it's, when, it's, it's 2014. I don't even know. It's during the story of Abram stuff with the angels. Ladies. Abram. The good old Abram. Yeah, when the Abram angels Lincoln. lay waste to the two cities I can't remember the names of, but they're like famous cities uh, oh. I forget. Nazareth? Tatooine, Mos Eisley, Mos Espa. No. Why do I know that name? Espa? Nazareth. Nazareth? Espa. Nazareth? Jesus of Nazareth. That's like where he's from. Nailed it. There you Nailed. go. 
But high that's five. the first high five oh, that Tristan's got. Lot, Lot is a guy that lived in the city, and he was related to Abram or Abraham, <laughs> depending on what point of the story you're in. Yeah. And like Lot's are doing Lot's, and and the angels were like, "All right, we're fucking torching the city, but Lot, you and your family can leave as Lot, but you can't look at the city when you leave." And Lot's wife was like, "No, I like the city." And she looks back and she turns <laughs> into a fucking pillar of salt. She's by looking at and, it and dies. And that's why in the, I when, remember that. when they're yeah. playing Moses, they're like, "No, you're Lot's wife." Pillars of salt can't talk. I also know that because uh, there is a song so called there you Pillars go. of Salt. Oh. Uh, it is by, uh, I'm going to Google it. It's by a lot of spute. I'm pretty, no. I think I saw you in my no. sleep, lover. But I really like it. Pillars of salt, darling. <laughs> I love them. All right. Oh, fuck. Do you have anything more you want to bring up? Because I'm pretty drunk at this point. I had this whole bottle. Capsov, ooh, Napa Capsov, great Smash Capsov. Stab Tom to death. Cali, ooh, Cali Capsov, great stuff. Don't just say um, so bold and balanced. I do things more that I wanted to bring up, but I'm sorry I'm drunk. Jacob, bring yours up. I because thought, I'm just making sure I'm talking to the front of the time. microphone. Because the back says back on the microphone. Have you been talking into the back? No, but just because that's the thing. He's that just you spinning guys say it around. Oh, it's all over the place. The pop feather's not tight. Well, I thought the author had, um... His name's Chris, all right? I thought, I thought Chris... Wait, you know my... Fr- Christopher. Mr. Moore. <laughs> Chris, like your best buds. In the Bible... <laughs> yes. There are, um... What are sometimes called... <laughs> I dropped my hat. Guys... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> no. In chicka, the Bible, chicka, 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 there, chicka. there are sometimes what are called perfect paradoxes, yeah. where, it se- where it seems as? paradoxical to human logic, but it somehow makes perfect divine sense. All right. An example of this from the book that it seems the author made up by himself yeah. in order to draw this like parallel to the Bible. Yeah. Was when mm-hmm. uh, Biff talked to Josh about how Biff. he was jealous with him about how Maggie preferred Josh over Biff. And Josh was like, "Hey, you know how in the Bi- how in the Torah, uh, God says that He's a jealous God." And he's like, "Dude, are you even fucking listening to me?" I'm saying that I'm like, I'm, "I'm jealous of you and Maggie." And he's like, "Yeah, but God says that He's a jealous God. So is it bad to be jealous?" And he's like, "But it hurts." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah. it does, doesn't it?" <laughs> and I'm like, "That's some deep shit." Yes, I agree with that. Uh, every point because a lot of the Maggie and Biff relationship was yeah I w- like Biff came from the can I say like current human condition where he's just like hey love me and fuck me and live with me and be my girl yeah where Maggie was still stapled in the quote unquote past yeah. of the Bible where she was like, Jesus, uh, Joshua, brought us, you know, he, he saved us and he, he wants what's best for us. I still love you, but like overall, he is it's kind of, it, it's It's kind of almost like, um, like an analogy for how like Christianity as a whole is supposed to be viewed. How you put God and Jesus above everything. Everything right. else, period. Yeah, that was even Mag- you, that even was if, Maggie. E- exa- even if you are married, yeah, your spouse is second to God. Yeah, and it was like it was like, I and I thought that while I was listening to it, I was like, that's kind of like, not necessarily confusing, but like, like, it emphasized the character of Biff and Maggie individually. Yeah, you know, it was like Maggie was. The version of the Old Testament and the old version of the way that things should happen. And Biff was very modern as a person, as a Which character. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Right. No, <laughs> it's a humorous book. But even when he was in the quote-unquote past, hanging out with Josh, he was like, Man, fuck those lepers! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lose limbs. I don't. He always hated them. I know! Well, because, you know, back in those time, everyone hated lepers. They were yeah. like fucking back well, up. I don't wanna, I thought it was, I don't not Josh, lepers. he just I'm touched them. They too. were fine. Which was like with the untouchables in, um, yeah. in India, he compared yeah. them to lepers. And he was like, oh, so oh, they yeah. like lepers. And it was like, 
Oh, they live in weird pits yeah. in the mountain. Yeah, they're like, we're it? untouchable, so you just fucking poke all of them. <laughs> yeah, well, anytime no, you said, no, anytime you said anybody. Yeah. Josh yeah. poked them just as like a, a defiance. Right. As a, that was, and I like that because that brought a human characteristic yeah. to Christ. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 There, the, the, another part that made them very human was in, um, when they were hanging out in the uh, Buddhist monastery. Yeah. When uh, Biff was complaining about how... Um, uh, Gaspar was just like hitting him all the time with a stick. Yeah, and he's just like, and Josh is like, well, that's supposed to like keep you in the moment, and you're supposed to not be focused on the past and the present. Yeah. You're supposed to meditate on just being. And <laughs> Biff's like, well, it just kind of makes me want to beat the crap out of him. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, so so what? You're wanting me to like be the crap that I beat out of him? And Jesus is just like, yes, you must be the crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you'd say to your friend just to get him to like I, shut I, up yeah, and do I, it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that as much. I definitely noticed it when he was just like, well, you know, fuck this. Yeah. We should, which in the, in the relevance of the story, Biff would have a lot of influence on his quote unquote best friend, you know? Well, yeah. Yeah. When you're, you know, you spend 15 years with your best friend from childhood oh, to Oh, way more than 15. Well, I, okay. Yeah. What? 15 yeah, their 20, whole lives. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was five to Most 30 Most of your life. Yeah. You hang out with one other person. You're gonna Who's fucking hookers. <laughs> Can we? I want to bring that up again. Yeah. Biff just fucked hookers. Can we? And then Christ was just like, "Yo, what's it like to fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> what's that like? Can you what's explain? That? It? Is it cool? And, and he's just like, "Definitely." And then Josh he never, is just like, "He never effectively explained right. it either." He was just like, "What's sex like?" And he's like, "Real good." And then Josh, uh, Josh was just like. Yeah, that sounds cool. I was like, <laughs> I'll take your word. Next time I see an angel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Did he ever ask to find out? Like, no, he, he forgot. Could? Every time when when, when Biff Can got thrown involved in the ocean, with a girl, oh, I can't Brazil remember. showed up again and helped him out, and then he forgot to ask him about sex. Every time. Right. So the whole. <laughs> <laughs> right. Totally. Taking us for no reason. Everything's funny. Everything's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, final. Can we give a, like a final like? We never uh, uh, talked about what off. we our our ending should have been. Well, we're gonna in a second. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Here we go. Symbol, this hand symbol that's just like a flicking off sucks. middle finger. Uh, 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 money I just shot. Want your like general overview of the story. Can we do that real quick? I would overview like to add that. You will first, so I know what you mean. I like. Yeah, I'm um, confused. That's fine. I love. I like the story. Yeah. And I did not have a well-versed section of my brain towards the Bible. You know, I didn't know a lot about it. I knew a little bit. But overall, the story was fun, enjoyable. I don't regret reading it. And I would definitely recommend it to a friend or, you know, colleague, some idiot motherfucker. Mm. An acquaintance. I don't know if I, if I would... Uh... Recommend to an idiot motherfucker. A passer, a passer. <laughs> I don't think. I think it'd go a little over them. Right. Although Jesus was quite partial to the dumb fucks. <laughs> I like that. In oh, the Beatitudes. Can we bring that up real quick? I like the part where he was like, where it was talking about the quote unquote like, where they were divvying up the, the what be- things to what the, people. The Beatitudes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's like, the meek shall inherit the earth, and it's like, well, I feel like we should give it more of the dumb fucks, and then this like. Yeah. Nobody likes dumb fucks. <laughs> but what about the They dumb should get fucks? something, right? Yeah. They should and get Josh something. Josh was just like, no, dude, they should, they should get something. They should get something. And then she's like, no, they're called dumb fucks for a reason. <laughs> I love that. I love uh, that section. Uh, yeah, so overall, I, I enjoyed it. And having been, you know, the one who recommended it and uh, picked it and liked a couple other Christopher Moore books, yeah. looked up. Yep. It was good. I, for one, and I'd like to know your response to my statement here. I enjoyed it a lot as it's one of the most religious documents I've ever read <laughs> and pull a lot of my religious knowledge that I now have from that book. How do you feel about that, J- uh, Jake? I'm going to you, Josh, unless Jed there's Josh? something I don't know. No. Okay, Jake, no. how do I, how do you feel about that? As if someone is almost uh, like, because uh. there was a lot of like, Sort of knowledge, obviously mixed with humor and whatnot. Well, yeah. I mean, I learned about like all the I said, apostles. It was, absurd, it was chapters, an absurdist 
Chapters Comedy. 1 through 29. Whoa! Or, no, I'm sorry. 1 through 22. All made up. Yeah. Nothing to do right. with the actual Which Bible. Which you, you understand. Like, obviously, a reader of Because it wasn't written in the Bible, that. there's room to... No, no, no! But he was saying, on he was that saying, anyway. Tom was saying that he drew most of he's drawing most of his knowledge now oh, from this yeah, book. Don't do that. One through twenty-two. Too late. All huh. no, all fiction. Not even nothing to do with nothing. Biff's my new favorite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> it's fact. But uh, yeah, so uh, I, I enjoyed I'm it. Dying. I'm dying because of all this wine I drank. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you gave me this red wine. Um, Thank you for the drink choice. At- <laughs> <laughs> As as an open-minded Christian bra- mm. backgrounded guy, <laughs> uh, Brack Frag, yeah. Brack Frag, <laughs> I played a thing. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Computer, uh, I wanted to look at the. We're dying. Talk to Tom. No. As yes. As an open-minded uh, yeah. Yeah. Christian mm. taught backgrounded yeah. guy person. Guy, yeah, Jake. I liked it quite a bit. Okay, just a bit. Uh, I liked it a lot. Okay. Fuck! Rabbit ears. You don't get that. No. For an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Right. I liked it a lot. Um, if you are a Christian person, um, you have to go into this book with an open you mind. Obvi- you obviously have to take it in you have stride. To take, yeah, yeah, obviously. With a grain it's, of salt. It's, it's made Or a from, pillar it's, of it's, salt. It's made... Ah! <laughs> Perfect. Uh, if you're not a Christian person, yeah, uh, there's a whole pizza in this box. You, there's, there'll be a whole pizza in this box for yeah. you. Yeah, uh, you'll probably you'll probably like it a lot, but you might miss some of the references. But I mean, you can Google it; <laughs> it's fine. For the final part of the podcast, final part, we talk about what we believe should be what the should real be the ending, like an alternate oh, ending. Right into it, and I came back to my pizza. He's got a pizza, Jake. Ah, as I mean, the most learned, you should go last. Tristan, <laughs> you should go first. All right. Clever so, girl. We discussed it. We'll discuss it more on the Reddit. Yeah. I'm eating a pizza. This is awful. Do you want me to go while you eat your pizza? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go. Right, you got a mouthful. So, well, it's, 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 All right, so. What? I think a more uh, like a better ending would have been, I don't know a lot about it. I only saw like John. No, 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 no. no. Not, not an ending. What your sequel would be. Wait, is it sequel way, how it should have ended? The way we end this... <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Tom's done like two or three of these, and he's like, "What? How do we do the podcast?" And the I end of the podcast is the sequel or the continuation of the story. I thought we did alternate endings. No, no. Uh, we, we've never done. You want me to you go can. one? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Tom wants to do an alternate. I want to ending. do an alternate okay. ending. Oh, okay. okay, I'll give so, it to him. I'm gonna eat a pizza. All right. So, like, John the Baptist was like crucified as well, right? Or was he just? How was he killed? He was beheaded. He was beheaded. It seemed like uh, when we toured, like <laughs> I, when I went to yes. like. When I look into a lot of the other apostles and stuff, all of them were like, killed and stuff. Too, Most, right? A lot of them yeah. were killed. Uh, so, one of them was crucified upside down. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. I knew that. Ah, oh, blood rush right to the brain. Yeah. Huh. Uh, ooh, it just drips too when you pee and everything. <laughs> when, um, I feel like, like... I don't remember what I was going to say. But a more realistic one should have been that like he would have been the same kind of way. Like He would have carried on preaching. Maybe him and like... He would have like Jesus would have popped up as like an angel on his shoulder and it would have been like his like what? his ghost spirit for, for, power. Wait, for John? For uh no, for a Biff. Biff he oh, would like, have had a Christ buddy on his shoulder, just as like a mentor. In the twenty first century? No, not in the twenty first century. He's not a senator. He's not even a governor. Minotaur? Minotaur. <laughs> it's the best energy drink. Minotaur. <laughs> Let us gingerly touch tips. Boop. But uh, I think he would have, uh, he would I have never had like thought that we talk about the Bible and then reference role models yeah. the movie. <laughs> so he would have been like a, a like a ghost on his shoulder. That's this that's the uh, slime. Uh, I don't know. And then he would have been good, and then eventually he would have been killed in some terrible way, just like all the other apostles. I didn't think he'd come back later, two thousand years later, in jeans with Mary. <laughs> But so that's why Christopher Moore is there. He, he would have just hung out with the other apostles and done apostle stuff. Yeah, would have just like, kept doing apostle stuff. That's oh, okay. my ending. Oh, all right. He just kept so basically, doing apostle stuff. So, yeah. so basically, no, 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 no. shut up. What's Tom? What's apostle stuff? <laughs> the rest of the gospel. Yeah. Or or the rest of the uh, New Testament. Oh, drop the mic. Why did you save Tom from <laughs> his life? What are you talking about? Jake Tom's just continued on. Like, Tom's gonna be like, pinball. <laughs> and you were like, pinball no, wizard. Tom. I'm sorry. Oh. He plays by sense of smell. 
Continue, Jake. What is your sequel slash my, my, my sequel? However you want to talk. My sequel to this book yeah. is we continue to follow Biff and Maggie in the 21st century. And guess what? What? Revelations happens. <laughs> Wait, what's end that? Of the, <laughs> end of days. Hey! The, apo- hey! the apocalypse ensues. Yeah. Jesus comes down on a cloud with a rainy, with a flaming sword, fucking starts the fucking end of the world. Yeah. Um, is that who? Is that who? Like six six six. Is that who? Usher shows up. <laughs> Numbers. End of days. Math. Does Jesus with a flaming sword usher in the end of days? I mean, that's that's something that's I don't exactly remember how it happened. <laughs> in the sequel, in the sequel of this book. Joshua has a flaming sword. He's just like the end of days. Who is it? <laughs> who's yeah. like who's the archangel? Michael? Is who's the archangel with the flaming sword that's supposed to be like the real badass? I don't remember. Was it Michael or sure, Michael? No, we'll call him Don. I'm looking <laughs> it up. I think Don. it was Michael the Don archangel Tello from the Ninja Turtles. What now? But yeah, it just follows those two going <laughs> through the fucking end of days. <laughs> All right, so they're like, well, like what kind of end of days? Like the biblical zombie. end of the world. I don't really yeah. know what that is. Fire and brimstone, dead raising, <laughs> um, the rapture, storms, so end like of civilization. Around. They're like sitting around bullshit. there like, they're like, man, look at all that brimstone. It's either, it's either Michael or Gabriel. They're <laughs> Gabriel. like the two, Gabe, maybe it's Gabriel. Gabriel. They're like the two big Gabriel I'm not fat and fluffy. Zane, <laughs> kill me. I just made that reference. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Why? Well, what this is doing. This is I'm in really memory. Set this wine smash. This is in memory of Tristan, who used to be on this podcast until <laughs> he made a fluffy Give me reference. Arms yeah. of the I hate that commercial. That was such a sad movie with Tristan's Nick Cage and Meg, Meg Ryan. <laughs> what movie was that? I don't care. None. What's, None what's your movie? What's your that sequel? was so sad. Tristan's, Tristan's sequel. Biff to the future. Oh God. <laughs> Episode two, Biff goes. What was the first episode? It's your kids, Marty. Yes, Something's gotta hell? be done about your I'm kids. I'm hard on this, Tom. Give me this. All right. Biff to the future, I hate episode it two. Biff yeah. and Maggie go back to the past. City of Angels. Where and they view Christ coming back to life, and then they have a rager. Everybody gets really drunk on. Wine. Cabernet Caps Sauvignon, off. California, 2012. Napa Caps And then they have a really Clear. big party. Also, it's basically mm-hmm. that movie, mm-hmm. The World mm-hmm. Ends with mm-hmm. Seth Rogen mm-hmm. and Dubstep mm-hmm. from Tom. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm done. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no. But Biff and Mary hang out with Jesus in the back in the future, and then Jesus... Banks, Mary, and what? The, right. in the future or back? Mary's his mother. What? And then Ew. Sarah Connor. That's oh, what God. happens in Back to the Future. And then they get in the DeLorean, and then Biff goes, "Where do you want to go?" And Mary says, "I love Jesus." <laughs> what did you say? Say I, I love Jesus. Oh, she loves Jesus. I'm so drunk. Or Joshua. <laughs> It's your kids, Marty. Something's gotta be done about your kids. And then Biff goes, and he runs away and dies on my back porch. Oh, and fluffs like a fish. So thanks for listening to this installment of Blackout Book Club. I think we did a good job of Um, of not doing well. I feel like we hit all the points that we wanted to talk about. All the important stuff. I drank a whole bottle of wine. Yeah, you did. I'm almost there. Jacob almost finished a whole bottle of wine. I almost did. Half a bottle. Tom is a pussy. Whoa. Whoa! Um, You're going to say it? This is lamb! Play the the theme music. Next book. Play the music. Play the theme music. No. Jake gets to pick our next book. That was the theme music. He should, an- <laughs> <laughs> he should announce what Jacob! it is. What's your pick? Bye, Tristan. Bye, Tristan. <laughs> tell us, tell us what your pick. What's our next book? Whenever we end up getting around to reading it, could be, <laughs> could be weeks. <laughs>
Well, since yeah. this since this time we did religious fiction, yeah. I think it would make sense to do science fiction. Oh, I like it. Oh, wait, I don't get it. Is science and religion different? Yeah. I thought they both believe in the force. Believe no. You. Luke Skywalker. You're crazy. For the next book. Fuck. Although that gives me an idea for the future. Whoa. I hate it. Don't pick your book. <laughs> Go. Tell what what is your book? For the next book. For the next book. <laughs> Put your hand down. No. no. For the next book, I pick the all-time <laughs> comedy classic. Sound it out. Hit. The Hitchhiker's Guide <laughs> to the Galaxy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. By, by Douglas Noel cool. Adams. Hitchhiker's yes. Guy to the Galaxy. Mm. I've never read it. No, but it's not Harold, I, but neither it's, I, but it's Harold did it. There was a movie. Are you, in, are you in for this next book? Yeah, I'd read it before, but I'll read it again. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, great. Great. Enjoy that. Great. Next time. No. Awesome. Excellent. Fantastic. Great. Super. Fish sticks. Super good. Thank you for. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm dying here. I'm All you out there. Take a Tim, breath. Take a Jonathan, breath. Jonathan, <gasps> Joshua, Stephen. Marty, Matthew, all Mark, of you, Luke, Bartholomew, John, yeah. I'm gonna thank John, you all for Peter, putting Jerry, this book together. Simon, Seinfeld, <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Newman. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for oh, listening gosh. to Bullshit Book Club. Yeah, bullshit. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're gonna go kill ourselves on a train track. Jake and I are holding Reed. hands. The book Jacob picked, Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide, to the Guide to the Galaxy. That way, when you listen to the podcast, it won't be spoiled. That way, the next time, I won't, won't knife be my wrist so hard. Thank you for being here. I'm going to take a nap. Love Bye. you. Bye.